Welcome drone video fans. This is the 15th video in my Covered Bridges of Ashtabula County, Ohio series. Uh, this video highlights the Middle Road Covered Bridge, which was built in 1868 and renovated in 1984. Uh, we're looking right now at the uh, uh, southeast face. This br bridge runs, if you look on Google Maps, it runs northwest to southeast and we're looking at the uh, southeast face of it and, uh, and and the top of it as well. The bridge um, is uh, 136 feet long and it spans the Conneaut Creek which is the longest uh, creek or river in eastern Ashtabula County uh, and it sort of meanders around and you'll see when we uh, get to exploring the creek itself uh, how much it uh, it moves lots of trees <laughs> lots of uh, things to uh, to dodge we're panning down now here to uh, take a look at the uh, uh, top of the bridge and see the the uh, uh, Conneaut Creek which uh, runs underneath it now again we're uh, since we're uh, starting here looking at the uh, north I'm sorry the southeastern face um, the uh, uh, what, we're, what we're looking now is to the west and you can see that the that the creek sort of splits with a little bit of an island with some foliage on it uh, there and it, and it uh, um, gets back together a little bit further uh, downstream because the uh, the river does flow from east to west so it's flowing down in this direction that you see me pointing uh, here we're kind of uh, uh, moving out towards these trees here and, and dropping down a little bit in altitude I wanted to get uh, sufficient distance away from the uh, bridge itself so that when I turned back and uh, looked at the uh, what would be the western face of the uh, of the bridge uh, you'd be able to get a nice uh, clear view of that so here we're bringing the uh, the gimbal back up and uh, panning around here and we're going to get a, a nice uh, shot of the western uh, face you can see the uh, sun coming from the eastern side on because uh, this was shot in the in the morning um, the river doesn't look like it's running very fast but i've seen uh, videos of uh, the, this water during the early uh, springtime snow melts and uh, there's actually white water in, the, in that uh, creek so there are times when it does run quite fast. Uh, this is again a nice uh, pan shot of the of the full western face of the uh, of the bridge, showing the uh, the windows and the lattice work on the inside. The construction of this bridge is what they call how lattice, and the lattice refers to, of course, the crisscrossing of the timbers. When we get inside, you'll see how massive the timbers of this particular bridge are. Uh, again, it's built in 1868, and these timbers, you know, they're rough hewn, but they're massive in size. Uh, some, you know, four to six inches thick, 12 to 15 inches uh, wide, and um, they're they're just totally massive. The signs in front of the bridge on either end uh, claim that the uh, limit for weight on this particular bridge is 25 tons. Uh, which gives you an indication of just how strong this bridge is. It's got two concrete supports uh, underneath it besides the supports uh, at the beginning at, and at the end of the bridge. So here we are again looking at the uh, south um, eastern face of, of the bridge and we're uh, going to make a uh, pass through in order to uh, to give you a little bit of a look at the interior and again when we're going through here, uh, pay a particular attention to the size and the girth and the, the just you know the, these beams along the side how how huge they are. They're rough hewn. There's no these were not sawn with any kind of modern saw. Man, they they were cut with some kind of old saws that they had back in the 19th century. There's still the iron beams there. They, those might have been part of the. Uh, renovation work which was done in uh, 1984 and the renovation work was done by three volunteers and four college students so how they they were able to uh, 
uh, you know, accomplish what they did to renovate this bridge is uh, quite amazing. But, uh, you know, I, as I walked through this and was shooting, you know, the, the video of the interior of this bridge, it just struck me that how uh, huge these, these uh, uh, beams were in the, in the lattice work. And they're just, uh, you know, compared to some of the other bridges that I, I've shot, they're just uh, massive in, in size. So here we're coming out of the northwest end of the bridge. And again, there's a little sign on the, on the west side uh, of the road there, which uh, on the other side of that s sign, it says uh, uh, weight limit 25 tons. Um, again, it really <laughs> points out how sturdy this, this bridge is. Um, the, uh, uh, now we're cr crossing over the guardrail here, and I'm going to attempt to uh, sort of go down and into the v little valley here where the Conneaut Creek runs. And um, again, you'll be able to see that um, this br uh, the, the water in Conneaut Creek, though it's seemingly slow running right now, uh, does run fast in the springtime. It does run east to west. Uh, we're going to go over an area here where you can see the water running and right up in front of me here where you see that little bridge of uh, of uh, shale uh, that's the kind of rock that's on the bed and along the shorelines there was a, a big uh, blue great heron uh, bird sitting there and it took off just before I took to the, to the skies I would have loved to have gotten that uh, in, in view but uh, I didn't get into the air quick enough and that was kind of disappointing, but um, you can see the water moving. Uh, the water is moving, as I said, uh, towards uh, towards me, uh, which would indicate a east to west flow. And uh, just kind of gonna pan around here a little bit in order to get a, a view of the surrounding uh, trees and foliage. And since we followed the river, we, we've lost full view of the of the uh, bridge, so we have to follow the river back. A little bit uh, so that we can get more of the uh, bridge now this is the eastern view of the bridge uh, because uh, you can see the sunlight on it and again this was shot in the morning and uh, you, you can see the uh, the uh, sunlight uh, shining upon it um, the uh, slots or the windows as they call them uh, showing the uh, lattice work you also see the two concrete supports that are uh, supporting uh, the bridge as well as the supports on either end of the bridge. Again as we get up closer to the uh, bridge here we're going to get a, an interesting shot but while we're waiting for that I, I didn't mention the uh, clearance. The clearance on this bridge is 13 and a half feet uh, so uh, maximum vehicular height uh, for something to pass through this is 13 and a half feet so Obviously, any car is going to make it through there. But you see, again here, the uh, uh, concrete supports that are running underneath. And now here's an interesting shot. If you look down in the water, you'll see a reflection not only of the blue sky with the clouds in it, but also of the bridge itself uh, and, a, and a somewhat striking contrast uh, and very clear uh, to see the, the bridge, the image of the bridge, uh, reflected as well as the um, as the sky and uh, you can look again here uh, on this view you can see the underneath side of the bridge and um, the water uh, running in downstream to the to the uh, western direction here and uh, uh, here we're gonna sort of uh, turn and now I'm gonna back my way uh, back out of this uh, uh, little valley uh, whenever you fly around one of these bridges, you know, as you've noted in some of the other videos, there's there's a lot of uh, trees and foliage and sometimes power lines and and whatnot to dodge. This one wasn't too bad. This this area was pretty uh, well open uh, and uh, able to uh, to pass through. Of course, there goes the car. <laughs> uh, I actually talked to the ladies in that car, and they were there to shoot the bridge themselves and. Uh, took down the URL of, of my uh, YouTube uh, uh, site so that they could uh, come and uh, watch the uh, videos because they were quite interested in, in seeing uh, 
uh, drone uh, footage of this um, bridge shoot. Uh, shoot. So we're climbing now here, and we're going to get a, a look at the uh, top of the bridge from the northwestern view. And you can see some uh, moss uh, growing on the side of the bridge, but, uh, you know, uh, nevertheless, the, the bridge itself is, is, you know, roof is in really good shape. Uh, as is the interior. So this this bridge is in in uh, very good shape, uh, and it's uh, one that uh, if you're interested in in visiting these covered road uh, bridges, it's it's really an, uh, a nice example. Again, here you can see we're looking to the west. You can see how the uh, river kind of forks around that little island of uh, trees. Uh, in some other videos that I've seen, that whole area is almost inundated with uh, running water uh, when the uh, winter snow melt uh, pretty much floods this river. You can't even see the the uh, shale that you can now see along the uh, banks uh, when, when the river is up and running fast. Uh, it's uh, quite a different scene altogether when, uh, when that happens. Backing up now and we're going to drop back down and uh, see the uh, north west face again but uh, before we, the video ends we wanted to take the time to, to again point out that this is the uh, middle road uh, bridge uh, it's got an opening there of 13 and a half feet for clearance uh, it's 136 foot long it's a how truss construction bridge which puts compression on the the uh, slanted uh, timbers that you see on the inside it's a very interesting bridge to uh, come and uh, visit. There's uh, uh, room even to in the parking area, which you'll see here shortly, uh, where you could actually uh, have a little little picnic. But it's a, a beautiful, quiet area. Uh, as I said, there's there's lots of nice uh, uh, birds flying around besides uh, the hare, and I saw m many other species. Here we're coming back out the south uh, uh, eastern uh, side, and you can see my my car and the and the uh, little uh, pink um, Tupperware cover lid that I threw on the ground there to uh, take off from and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video this is a great bridge to visit come and visit and thanks for watching